So this is going to be our home for the next couple of days. Uh, compact and bijou, but it gives us a bed to rest our weary heads. We've travelled all the way up from Cornwall to Birmingham for the national running show and we thought with it being such a positive start to the year, it's definitely worth the trip up. And I've never been to the show before, don't really know what to expect, but there's 250 exhibitors along with lots of motivational speakers, including two legendary British ultra runners, Damien Hall and Beth Pascal, along with lots of others. So really excited to get over to the show and engross ourselves fully into running. But we had a five hour drive up this morning. We left at 5 a.m. So we're pretty tired and we need to get things sorted out in the hotel room first, have a bit of a freshen up and then we're heading on over. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So we've made it over to the NEC and it looks like there's lots of like-minded people streaming into the show. So I think it's gonna be a busy day. Really hoping that some of the big running brands like Hoka, New Balance, Saucony, Salomon and Adidas have got some of their latest shoes in there so that we can get our hands on them, get up close and personal and show you guys them shoes in a bit more detail. You never know, we might come across some new running brands and some exciting new running tech. So let's get inside and see what we can find. That's better, we've got a coffee, always need a bit of caffeine to start the day, but we are heading over to the Bad Boy podcast stage because apparently Salomon are gonna be announcing an exciting 24 hour challenge. So let's go over there and see what's going on. Now we're gonna get our next guests on, the Salomon crew. We've got Anna, we've got um, Ricky, and we've got Oliver to talk about taking on a track relay 24 hours. Well, tell us about this challenge then. We are hosting a 24-hour mixed relay event um, on the 3rd and 4th of March. Uh, Ricky and Ali are two of the athletes involved in it. Um, there's not been a 24-hour mixed relay attempt done before. Um, there's been like uh, a team of four males and four females, and obviously Alex, who did the individual attempt on his own. Poor bugger. Um, but Ricky, Ali, uh, we've got Kirstein Welsh, and we've also got Matt Reese, who are joining the team. Uh, they're going to give it a crack and try and beat the individual record um, and set a new team record for a mixed relay team. When, when Salomon approached you about this, what were your initial thoughts? Oh, it's a bit crazy, isn't it, really? But um, we've had two years to mull over it, uh, just with COVID and everything. So it's actually become a reality now that we've got six weeks or so to go. But you, know, you, you don't know what to expect until we're there and we're doing it. And, and, um, and how about yourself, Ricky? How did you, uh, when this first was brought to you? It, it's pretty exciting, really, because I like, I like to give myself a challenge. So when Ollie mentioned that we could possibly have a go at something like this on a track, which I've, I've probably ran on a track a handful of times and I've, I've raced on a track once. So, so to be part of a, a sort of relay where it's sort of unknown for me. I know I can go a long way in the mountains, but I don't know how far I can run around in circles, especially when it's only 400 metres as well. So it's pretty exciting and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge and how hard it's going to be. Because what, what do you anticipate being the hardest element of it? For me, I think it's just, it's just the unknown and it's judging the pace, right? So obviously we've each got six, hour, six separate hours each over 24 hours. And that, that first hour, 
um, you know, do you go out at six minute mile pace? I know the guy who you had on stage ran uh, 100 miles at <laughs> six and a half minute mile pace. Yeah. So obviously we, we want to look at between four of us, we should beat him. Um, but but yeah, do, do you go at six minute mile pace or push it a little bit faster or do you, you do the first few at six and a half and see what happens? I don't know, it's a really difficult decision and you know, I've not run, I, I ran on the track this week, um, testing the new uh, Salomon uh, shoes out and yeah, we'll just see what happens. I don't, I honestly don't know and I won't know until I set off and see what, what things are like. Well, that was very interesting hearing what those very talented Salomon athletes are going to be taking on, especially when some of them are hardcore trail runners. So they're trying to beat the 24 hour record for a mixed relay team. But even more exciting is that we've been asked to go up by Ollie from Salomon and capture the whole event. It's taking place in March at Lee Valley Athletics Track. So we're gonna be heading up, taking the cameras along, maybe even getting involved with a bit of pacing throughout the 24 hours. And obviously we're gonna be capturing it all and bringing it to the channel for you folks at home. having a really good look around the show for two hours lots of great running goodies to see and we've listened to a few good speeches as well a little bit disappointed that some of the bigger brands like Hoka in the background Socony and New Balance it's not actually the brands here so we can't show you any of the new running shoes coming out this year it's just up and running the running shop here selling product but we have heard a little whisper that maybe Salomon have got some of their new and exciting trail and road running shoes on their stand so we're gonna head over there now and we're gonna take a look Right, so we've made it over to the Salomon stand and uh, this is Chris from Salomon. Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for giving up your time, really no appreciate problem. it. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, a trail shoe that's coming up from them this year, a very exciting trail shoe, and also a couple of awesome new road shoes to their lineup. So, uh, first shoe up, we're going to look at the Pulsar Trail Pro. We did the video featuring the exciting shoes coming up on the channel this year, but it's also always good to get them sort of in your hand and have a feel of the shoe. So, I hope it's you, mate. Just a few. Yeah, yeah. Specs and features, a few of the new innovations in the shoe would be great. Yeah, so it's an exciting time at Salomon going into uh, this year for spring, summer 22. So we've got loads of newness across both trail and road. Uh, and nothing more exciting than this, the Pulsar Trail Pro. So a pretty stunning shoe, really aimed at kind of somebody who is looking for lots of speed on the trail. So you've got a nice rocker profile on here to really help you get through to the toe of the product. And we're utilising uh, what we call energy blade, which is our plate in the product. So this is a, uh, a blade that runs through the front of the shoe, so three fingers that run one down the outside, the inside and down the centre of the shoe. And this really is just helping you with propulsion. We've got really nice soft cushioning here, so this is a dual density um, EVA that we're using. So firmer density at the bottom, a little bit softer on top there for that stepping comfort. And uh, a really nice kind of like structured upper here with our quick lace system. So really holding the foot on there when you're kind of charging across. Uh, that real technical terrain. Nice collar there to keep all of the debris out as well. So yeah, really for aimed at those kind of speedy guys. In the what's, uh, what's the heel offset and the weight? You know, uh, so uh, so yeah, so this is six yeah. millimeters on this. So um, you know, really helping you to get forwards in the uh, in the shoe. Uh, and the weight on this is 260 grams. Kind of aimed at that sort of multi-terrain market. Multi-terrain market. Distance. Someone who is doing kind of any kind of distance, but you know, really aimed at somebody that's got a bit of pace about them. The faster guy is really going to be able. To kind of utilize uh, the energy return and the propulsion from this uh from this and what's the uh, compound using this uh this is an eva okay it's an eva so pretty much everything that we use is evas is it similar to the sort of compound in the ultra uh in the ultra glide yeah so it's what we call energy surge but we use obviously different densities depending on on the trail shoe so obviously the ultra glide is a one piece and whereas this is a, a dual density so it's uh you won't be able to see it here but there's like a, a joint line so you've got a firmer section on the bottom and softer on the top so this just helps to give a little bit more stability in the shoe 
it's definitely a shoe I'm excited to get on my feet and running, that's for sure. <laughs> really looking forward to getting out in there. And when will this be launching? Uh, so we hope to launch this in Q2 this year, so hopefully from uh, the 1st of April, it's nice to stop into the market. Place. And there are going to be lots of, uh, I can show you this summer. So there is going to be other colour options available as well. So we've got a nice navy blue, there's another colour around here, which is pretty cool. So going to be some really cool colour options as well. Yeah, so, it, look, it looks it's a premium looking shoe yeah. and it's, uh, it's definitely a performance product so it's very much like uh, this is it's just shout Salomon, you know, this is what we're all about is that progression and uh, kind of really kind of pushing the boundaries. So. Yeah, exciting time yeah. for the brand I think. 100%, yeah, exciting time. Definitely. So that's one of the trail shoes, obviously there's others coming out but also some pretty big changes when it comes to the road lineup. You We've know. pretty much got a, a, a full new range of, uh, of road products coming uh, in, the, in 2022 um, and this, you know, very much kind of is the road version of kind of the, the Pulsar Trail Pro. So aimed at that faster runner again um, so you've got a big camber on here so really promoting that kind of forward landing position um, you've got the energy blade in here which is a polyamide and glass fibre mix so it's a pretty stiff shoe so you've got to have a bit of pace about you so no, really no carbon no carbon in here so carbon is quite a messy material to work with there's generally quite a lot of wastage with it um, and what we found is that we can get a very similar propulsion property but from a material that has uh, uh, probably a, a lower risk of breakage and things like that so that's what we find on so it definitely feels quite good. Yeah, it's pretty stiff and on there, so uh, yeah, you'll get loads of propulsion from the shoe. Nice matrix on the upper here, so a nice precise fit. Not loads of padding around the heels, so we find that this kind of runner is doesn't really want to kind of feel the shoe too much. They don't want to have that kind of like really like gripped in feel. They don't want to notice the shoe, they just want to fly, and that's exactly what this shoe is for. So um, yeah, it really kind of like for us, it's the geometry, so it's the rocker profile, it's the midsole compound, and it's the blade that's in there that really kind of gives that running experience like one without the other you just wouldn't get the same experience so kind of aimed at that performance end of the market yeah, you know guys yeah. are pushing pace over distance would you say uh, good you know good marathon shoe uh, yeah I mean if you've got the pace and you can sustain a pace in the shoe then it's perfect we have other products that are coming in the range like a shoe called the Spectre which is a little bit more of a maybe an everyday kind of training shoe which might be better for some people if they're a little bit slower but this is a this is for someone that's a kind of faster runner this is perfect for them. Brilliant. Again, yet another shoe that I'm excited about. But now something very, very different from, especially from the Salomon brand. Uh, I Something you've probably never done before, I imagine. No, but following on from the success of what we've seen with the Ultra Glide and that launch, you know, like we know that there is, uh, you know, a lot of research that shows that high to maximum cushion shoes are a massive percentage of sales within, within the market. So nearly probably close, close to 50%. I feel, now. I feel that was something that maybe as a brand you were kind of you know, missing out on. Yeah, so, I think yeah. like you know the out the box comfort, that step yeah. in comfort, and that performance. You know, we know that comfort is king in the market, so it's really really important for us to kind of be there. Um, and you know, part of the thing with being prevalent in road is that we're not often maybe at the, the start of the runner's journey because you know they start on road and they often migrate to trail. Yeah. So with this, we're actually able to now meet the runner at the start of their running journey and hopefully make them sound on the from day one. Yeah. And, uh, and a shoe like this with the Glide Max is kind of our venture into the oversized market on road. So you pitch this as a Oak Clifton kind of? Uh, yeah, 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 sort of yeah, something like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's a 10 mil drop, so that is slightly different to a lot of other kind of oversized stuff that's in the market. Yeah, quite, quite, yeah. Yeah, 37 millimeters of uh, cushioning under the heel, 27 at the, at the toe, so loads of cushioning there. And as you as yeah, you see, I mean, it doesn't come across on camera, but this shoe is ridiculously light. I can't I can't get over the amount of stack height, the width of that platform. But I mean, it is a super light shoe. Yeah, sure. it's just 260 yeah. grams, so yeah, it's, right. it's proper light for a for a shoe with that much kind of uh, midsole to it. And then also the the key thing here is from a durability aspect, a shoe that normally has this much stack height and, uh, and this much thickness in the midsole wouldn't often have this much rubber on no, the outsole. Definitely. So the rubber like compounds on the outsoles are generally like the the heaviest part of the shoe. So we've got full rubber outsole here as well. Nice wide base for a bit of stability, and it's a little bit wider than what you might find in a lot of salmon products. So a bit of depth in the toes and a bit of width in there. So really works with a variety of foot shapes. So, so kind of aimed again at that sort of workhorse day. Trainer, yeah, somebody yeah. wants a good level of cushioning in their own. Yeah, somebody who's doing like lots of frequent miles or doing like kind of long, long distances. I mean, this would probably be my go-to shoe at the uh, when, it, what, when we finally get stuff. You don't mean this go fast? I am not a speed demon. No, no, I'm a plodder, and this is my friend. <laughs>
Uh, again, price point, when's it released? Uh, 140, release date on this is the 1st of April, so hopefully we'll get some supply into the market and uh, yeah, get this on some people's feet with some demos and stuff and give people an opportunity to try it. Yeah, so, you know, you can see, guys, you know, like I mentioned in the video when we covered the up-and-coming shoes, there's some great things going down this year at Salomon with road shoes and trails, so they really are having a big push into the road market this year, but really appreciate it, Chris. Always Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for, Thanks for coming by. Yeah, cheers, cheers lot. It was awesome speaking to Chris and getting my hands on the new shoes from Salomon. Uh, I predict it's going to be a strong year for Salomon when it comes to their new road and trail running lineup. As we've been walking around the show, taking it all in, we also came across um, a company that does a recovery and rehab product that I've been wanting to try for years. So we're going to head to their stall now and we're going to give them a go. We are here at Myomaster and I've always been really interested in how a pair of these work, especially with all the injuries and niggles I've had this year. Uh, yeah, and I have circulation issues. So okay, we will definitely will help with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got Joe from Iron Master. He is going to go into a bit of detail about how these work and, and what they're designed to do. So yeah, go for it. Yeah, definitely. So um, you've got the My Pumps on, which are our mains powered device. It's called Extreme Air Compression. So what that does is blow up from your feet to your calf to your knee to your quad. Hopefully you can feel that, yeah. Um, it's extremely tight, but what that's doing is flushing the blood out of your legs. What that does is take with it um, toxins that are built up through the day through training, helps with absorption of lactic acid, any swelling, um, helps with lymphatic drainage. Um, then you get fresh oxygenated blood from the heart. When it's fully compressed, it's waiting to get back into your legs. It'll do a release, you'll get fresh blood that flushes the system, then it will be redo the cycle so then you'll start from the foot again work your way up it's called an aggressive metabolic flush and it's extreme air compression and what i mean by extreme air compression is flight socks or recovery leggings you wear of about 20 megahertz of pressure so tightly they squeeze you this goes up to 250 so it's uh, it's pretty <laughs> tight and what we found is that everybody has a different uh, capacity so there's um some original ones we had were much lower pressure but for some of the bigger guys, um, it wasn't tight enough. So we have to have a wider range of, um, of pressure to be able to, to work with every athlete. Um, but the, the side behind is amazing. It basically flushes out all the rubbish and speeds up recovery unbelievably quickly. So your heart naturally tries to do it in about three to four days, but your heart is pumping, trying to get rid of that. Like, you know, I, I struggle a lot with my lower leg, and I like, yeah. think Oh yeah, this will sort that straight out. So we get loads of people who have, um, have swelling issues, lymphedema, or um, swollen knees after running and excessive injuries. This squeezes all of that out in a, in a cycle. It's also the easiest recovery you'll ever do, because you sit on the sofa in the evening and watch telly. Perfect. They're perfect. Sounds great. Exactly. <laughs> So how, how long would you spend in them? Um, so it's recommended 20 to 30 minutes in the evening, okay. so after you've trained. Um, and as I said, you won't get any easier than this. You sit on the sofa and put a program on. But where we're quite unique compared to anybody else is um, My Masters um, creates its products with elite athletes and physios. So we work with Harlequins, Olympians, World's Strongest Men. Um, yeah, yeah, so Tom Saltman, the World's Strongest Man, and Luke is your strongest. They, uh, they've worked with us for years and uh, we basically make sure we've got the highest quality products before we bring them to market. So we get feedback from the people who know the physios and the um, elite athletes of what they want and then we bring it to market. Um, so we, we back ourselves with the highest quality we can get um, and hopefully you can feel it's pretty, pretty, pretty high quality. So we have lots of different products, we're not just a one one product company, we, are, we have a, we're a sports recovery company and we basically do all sorts of different products that help with your recovery, whether it be recovery from injury or recovery from performance. Um, we help with all sorts, so these are the Maya pumps, they have two levels um, in terms of programs, so uh, one is our wave technology which does a slow build up your leg and waves through, this is um, the extreme compression setting so it continues up the leg and stays on. Um, we also have our Maya Airs which are battery powered, so you can use them anywhere, in the middle of a field, yeah. Iron men love them, um, triathletes, etc. Like when they're out, yeah. Crossfitters when they're in the middle of uh, events, are great. Um, they have three-hour battery life, slightly more pressure, uh, but five programs, and they're just different, different variants on the same product. But as I said, we have a, a 
a decent product suite with lots of different products. So what other stuff you do like uh, massive gun? So yeah, we actually created our first massage gun um, in like 2017. So before anyone had heard of a massage yeah, gun, yeah. we were already creating them. Um, yeah, they're, ama <laughs> they're amazing. To be yeah, fair. Okay. Yeah. We've got our unique heads as well. We work with the physios on, so we have XL scraper, which is a bit like a blade yeah. scrape, which is very unique. Um, we also have a human thumb, believe it or not, which is a bit Amazing. freaky, but um, works <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> well. <laughs> Similar, we're, we're, yeah. in, we're in production at the minute. Um, and then we have our mini massager, which is the world's smallest, most compact, but still extremely powerful. So working with all these larger athletes, like the world's strongest men and, and rugby yeah, players, yeah. They, they take a pounding, so say, they, they yeah. love to break our stuff, so we have to uh, make them pretty powerful. And how yeah. much would something like this sort of cost you? Um, so it's usually 799 but throughout the year we change, change the prices for sales. We want as many people as possible using our products um, to hopefully tell their friends about it and they love yeah, I mean, Maya Master, the brand. Yeah, and we tried with everything we do, we work with the athletes, but we're also aware uh, um, that basically there's been elite prices for elite yeah. level products of two and a half grand for a product like this, yeah. and it's half the compression. And we didn't want to be that company that yeah. just goes in I've alongside. Seen, yeah, I've seen a lot, a lot yeah. of your friends at Portland, yeah, great about high end, yeah, yeah, unbelievable. So we're trying to make it more, um, more available for everybody. Yeah. So yeah, these are great. currently on price of five nine nine. So which which we believe is a much more accessible price point, and hopefully a lot more people will get the benefits yeah. of it. No, like they definitely feel good to me. Good, uh, glad you like it. No, thanks for that, Joe. That's brilliant. It's, thanks very like much. It's something I've wanted to try for a long time. And even sitting here for what, 10 minutes, I can feel the benefit. Well, you'll be good. moonwalking out and flying <laughs> off. You'll be loving it. I've got a five hour drive out. Oh, mate, you'll, you'll be bouncing to the car. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, mate. Thanks Cheers, mate. Thanks, thanks very much. much. That was definitely a great test of the Maya Masters and something I wanted to try for a long time and I can't believe how much better my legs feel which is a good thing because we've got a five hour drive home. Even better, the guys from Maya Masters said they're going to send us a pair out that we can test for a whole three months so we can give them a thorough test in, see how it really helps with uh, that recovery after running with all them lower leg injuries I've been having. It's going to be really interesting to see how it works so yeah. We'll be testing them out for a good three months and then we'll be bringing you guys a full in-depth review. So that is it, we are all done with the national running show up here in the NEC at Birmingham. We've had a great weekend. It's been brilliant meeting so many followers of the channel. Them coming up, saying hello, having a chat. It was worth coming up here for that alone, but also good to see you know, some new running brands, to see them new shoes from Salomon, and to try out that bit of recovery tech that I've never used before, which is definitely gonna help because we are both pretty shattered from walking around the show all weekend, and now we've got a five hour drive back to Cornwall. But as always guys, really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Just before we head over to the show, I had to show you this. So uh, we're in an Ibis hotel and how times have changed so this is what you hang over your door if you don't want to be disturbed and i'm going to read it out to you it says chilling doing yoga catching some z's facebooking gaming doing homework glamming up having a cool dream naked pillow fighting bed bouncing and then the bottom one says can you read that yeah it says about wow wow like i said how times have changed <laughs>